Let me just start off by quickly saying that we are filming in literally the randomest corner of my room. I got a new ring light from Kmart, so we're going to try this out in today's video. I'm so excited to share with you guys about my 11 piercings that are a little bit kind of all over my body. And then I'm also going to explain to you my seven tattoos and why I get them and where they are on my body as well. So let's jump straight on into it. I'm going to start from the top first and then we're going to work our way down. We're going to start with these two earrings down here. Also counts as my first and seconds on this side here. Got my Tragus pierced as well. I wanted to quickly skip over these because they're very normal and kind of basic so we'll get into the other ones. So I absolutely love my Tragus. I was thinking about getting the other side done but I think that I'm just comfortable with the one. Plus I don't want to go through the whole headphone thing and like stuff that up so we're just going to leave it as the one for right now. And then I also have my forward helix up here. Now these two piercings were super easy when I got them. They didn't hurt especially after a negative experience with my helix. I was very nervous getting these but they were insanely awesome so if you want two easy different piercings those ones are amazing it literally didn't even hurt me to sleep on them after I got them which is now we're going to head over to the other ear like I said before those two down there and then I also have my oh my god I've legit forgotten what this piercing is called I'm pretty sure it's my date no I had my date pierced I have gone completely mind blank and I legitimately can't but like even remember what this piercing is called I will insert it on the screen I usually know this I'm just having a total mental blank I used to have my date pierced but I felt like everything was too cluttered so I got rid of that and then like I was saying before I had a bit of a negative experience with my helix like it didn't heal and now it's left an ugly bubble on my ear but I guess it's just all part of the memories when I got it in your ear and then it legit caused me so much trouble Moving on, we're going to head down. So I do have my septum pierce. Let's get it out for you. That probably wasn't that glamorous. But I do have my septum pierce. I really like this one because I can flip it up and I can flip it down just like before. So it totally depends what vibe I'm going for. It also is my most popular video on YouTube. So if you are following me from that video, hello, welcome to my channel. A lot of people have found me that way, which is awesome. Never did I think a flipping septum piercing video would do so well, but... There you go. Then in terms of piercings, I do have my two nipple pierced. I decided I wanted to get both instead of one. I mean, you could see them before because it was quite cold in this room. We'll see if we can get them through the shirt, but otherwise I'll insert a bit of video footage from that anyway. They don't actually make my boobs more sensitive, which is kind of weird because I know for some people it does. I guess that's just ain't it for me. But yeah, love the way they look and I couldn't imagine me going back to it. I've had them pierced since I was 18 and I'm nearly 22. Now let's move on to a few tattoos before I get into my last piercing. So we are going to start off with the love is love tattoo. Now the reason why I got this one is because I believe that love is love and no matter who you love, what gender, where they come from, if it's love, it's love. I'm a huge lover in this world and I feel like there should definitely be a lot more of it. That's why getting this on my body is sort of just being like, you know what, I'm open. Like, it's like more of a soul connection anyway. Like who cares who you actually love? If it is, it is. <laughs> oh, this is so cute how I'm like explaining them because I have these on my body every single day and I see this meaning, but people that see me probably wouldn't know it. So it's nice to like get it out there and get why I did this. Now the next one here on my arm is one of my absolute favorites. When I sent the design to Georgie, I sent like a Cupid, I sent my star sign and then also some planets. And then she did this little design up for me and it's insane. So it's my Leo star sign and then it has like a little angel shooting um, like an arrow into space with planets and stuff. I am quite spiritual and astrological, so is that even a word, astrological? But I wanted to get my star sign on there because I do believe in that and I am a Leo through and through. And then I love the whole idea of like outer space and the bigger picture of the world as well. So that's why I got that one. Now, next up, I have a couple under my ribs. So I have this one here, which is believe in yourself. This one I got first and my goodness, it did under the ribs hurt, but I love it. It's something that is a quote that really resonates resonates with me like believe in yourself I never actually realized what that meant until this year like when I got this tattooed on me I was like yeah believe in yourself but until I went through something really deep this year I didn't actually know what believe in yourself was and for me it's about turning inwards and focusing on yourself and believing that you can do anything that you want to and then that will create your life outside as well so if you're ever worried in a situation just turn inwards ask yourself like trust your gut I'm so big on that and it does help you 
live the way you're supposed to. Then on the other side, I got two little butterflies. I am obsessed with these. She did such a good job. We got a little bit of white shading in there, which my goodness, that hurts so much. But I'm in love with these tattoos. The reason why I got a butterfly is because I always think that if I see a butterfly, I can't even speak. If I see a butterfly around, I feel like it's someone watching over or it's just like a really good sign. Like I always see them when I'm going through bad times in my life. I just think they're really beautiful creatures. Like honestly, how the hell are they on our earth? So I wanted them on my ribs, those hurt, but I really love how like I've got both of them there and I feel like it looks really nice. If we're moving down the body, the next tattoo is just above my bum. I guess it's like just where your undie line would sit and it is a little lightning bolt. So this is the tattoo that I got that doesn't really have any meaning. I just got it because it's kind of cheeky and kind of fun, but I always think about it like bang. So like, yeah, I just wanted it there, something cheeky. Now moving down my body again, I do have two on my legs. So on my right upper knee, I have a pinky promise and also with some flowers coming out of it because one absolutely love nature and two through and through I believe in pinky promises when I say promise I do genuinely mean it but when like I pinky promise with myself or someone else I'm like this has to happen like you can't break a pinky promise and so that's why I wanted it on my leg just to like signify what I'm about because like I'll ask someone a serious question I'll be like no but like pinky promise and like just always like resonated with me I guess since I was little I feel like saying that out loud I'm like that sounds stupid but what it is. <laughs> then on my left leg under my other kneecap, I do have no rain, no flowers. I freaking love this tattoo. Again, it's if you don't water what you have, you will never have anything that will grow. So basically going back to the believing in yourself, if you don't actually believe in yourself, who is supposed to? And like, you need to be like your number one fan and no one has your back like you. So it's like, you have to remember to water yourself and fill your glass up before you do others. <laughs> and my last piercing slash thing for this video is my belly button piercing. Now I wanted to get my belly button pierced personally. When I was younger, I loved the bring it on movies. And I always like saw, I think it was Hayden, her name is, um, with the belly button piercing. And I was like, oh my God, that is so hot. I'm going to do that when I get a body closer to the dream body that I guess I'm going for because I always struggled with weight like if you watch my YouTube channel I've lost about 11 kilos and really changed my body and I did it as sort of like a reward thing because that's what I said I was like I want a belly button piercing if I have a belly and yeah I don't know I guess that's why I have it but I just love it and I feel like it looks a little bit different so me and I just love the way my body looks with all of the piercings and the tattoos like it's so freaking awesome that we can do that in our lives and I am also very sure that I'm definitely going to add to the tattoo collection. I am very addicted at the moment. My parents aren't that happy about it, but my body, my rules, and I love the way it looks. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad that I filmed this video. I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I was kissing you with my eyes open. But you said, you said, keep them closed and be in the moment So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted But what about what I want? What about what I want?